Howdy, it's Lonnie Ray Williams, chairman of the Independent American Patriots. First off, uh, I think I'm going to apologize for the heavy breathing. My pigs uh, think they're going to get fed a second time here. Um, many of you know I'm a pig farmer, a homesteader, a father, just a common average everyday American who's trying to feed his family, trying to, to make it one, one day at a time. You know, I was, I was just reflecting back on a time with my my wife about when I was young and in the in the military. Um, I think I was still in the Presidential Honor Guard, but I was attached because I was working in Fort McNair at the time, which is in Washington D.C. And uh, I remember, I remember at the time, it was President Clinton uh, was was the president, and he was was given a bad time because he kept eating McDonald's and Big Mac so much and his weight was going up. This was of course before the, the wonderful documentary Super Size Me came out and we all learned what wonderful benefits Big Mac has to our waistline. I'm a witness once upon a time. That being said, um, you know, he started running, this President Clinton, and I don't, I don't remember that it lasted all that long, but I remember that he started running publicly to lose weight. And before he did it publicly, he used to, to come on to Fort McNair and and run. And I remember it was it was actually kind of a chore and a big pain in the butt. Not very many military people cared for him, but yet we served him because, well, that was our job as soldiers. But anyway, that the call would go out and, hey, you know, you're not doing anything. Get on your PT gear and go run. And, and I remember... I remember getting roped in to, to run them with them one time. And a couple of times I was just fortunate enough to watch everybody else who got sucked into it. Um, it was just kind of a circus. But reflecting back on that, I got to thinking, and I, I've known this for a while, and I, I've learned it over time. There, there's two different versions of reality. There's what they show you on TV, in which case that is prepared, staged, narrated, ensure that you get what they want you to get and nothing else and then there's the reality which is something completely different now geez I was in the early 90s so um, it was a long time ago and and our government as as terrible as it probably was back then as well there were still a halfway decent people halfway moral people um, not pushing this insanity they're pushing now and it just kind of worked and we were able to to go along and get along and and just turn a blind eye to all the things well that's okay they're different they'll they'll allow us to live our life because we're allowing them to live their life and we on went, went on with this mentality and we were buying the narrative we're bar buying the narrative that, that civilization has evolved. We're not barbarians anymore. We're not capable of doing inhuman acts. And we bought that narrative and we, we continued to, to pacify ourselves. To not know how to take care of our own animals. To not know how to feed our own families. To not know how to survive. Because life is easy and we bought the narrative that, that there's bad people don't do that bad of things anymore. It's all a lie, and we're all waking up. Now, I know a lot of you guys understood that this was coming, and, and I've been talking about this for years, explaining that, that this is kind of an end game, and, and we're really here now. And for a lot of people in the, the country that had their head in the sand and had binged watched the Netflix and all the other things that they were doing, going to work, taking care of business, thinking that everything's okay or at least wanting to believe that everything's okay because it was just too stressful to accept the reality of things and everyone just put their head in the sand and well one day it'll get better well it didn't and it's not going to and now there's a lot of people waking up going holy cow what do I do I need a food storage and then they look at the price of food and go I can't afford to afford food this month let alone to try and build some stock back up or I need to do this or I need to do that and I look around and there's nothing available we live in a different world 
My friends, there is little time left to get the things that you need to get, to do the things that you need to do. But the most important thing that you need to do is come to a personal relationship with your Creator, with God. Now, I'm not one to tell you that you need to subscribe to any particular dogma. Um, in my experience, the truth is always in a person's heart if they honestly search. And if they follow, follow that spirit and follow that voice, then they'll be led to where they need to be. And as long as you're doing what God wants you to do, you can't do any wrong. It's kind of my opinion of it. That being said, you need to get that aspect of things straight because the things that are coming after that, no one's going to be able to help you through. Not me. Certainly not the government. Certainly not your hundreds of thousands of rounds you have squirreled away. Maybe even if you got 10, 15 years of dehydrated food packed away. None of that's going to save you if you don't have personal relationship with a great creator. Now, I speak from personal experience as someone who denied for 28 years of my personal life and ran away from all that garbage. If I couldn't see it, couldn't taste it, couldn't touch it, it wasn't real. And I discovered differently. That's on you. I can't, I can't tell you how to fix you. It was hard enough to figure out how to fix me and I'm still working on that and I'll be working on that till the day I die. But that's that's where I'm trying to tell you to get. Get at the uh, fixing you stage. Get at the working on something every day stage. You know a lot of us are have injuries. I'm a disabled veteran. I, I got physical injuries, mental issues. I mean heck anyone who joins the military is going to be mental from day one. You just think differently when you get out. It's hard to understand when you have all of your rights taken away and you, you obey and then you get back into a free society. You actually appreciate that on a level that you can't understand. And then you try and explain that to other people and they're like, you don't get it. But that's okay because we're all about ready to get it whether we want to or not real soon. And as I reflect back on the times of my life where I watched that narrative of somebody... Somebody giving a president a bad time because he ate too many Big Macs and whatever pride and ego caused him to think, you know what, I need to make a public appearance to run so that they show, well, it's okay, I run on this, I don't know. Anyway, point being, that type of mentality should tell you a lot about the aristocratic supremacists who are running this country and all the other countries in the world right now. They don't care about you or me. They care about your perception because they need to keep you where they need you to listen. And you need to break free of that. Um, if you're looking for someone to tell you what to do step by step, I'm sorry. It's what, not what this life's about. This life is about you opening your eyes, looking around you, making an honest assessment of your situation and say, I choose to do this based on the information I have. So life is about gaining experience using your brain. God gave you that brain to reach out, to explore, to do things, to find the you that you never knew you could be. He didn't put you on this planet to look for the Life for Dummies book or, or how, the cliff notes of how to make it. It's not what we're here for. We're here to learn experience and make decisions because if you don't do that and if you don't have that figured out real quick you're gonna be paralyzed in in these next few weeks months and, and years ahead and that may cost you and your family your life I'm sorry that's just the reality even those of us who are, are trying to do the best we we can with our limited resources and what we have we don't have that that good of odds and we got better than most people. The reality is, is that the only relationship and the only intelligence and the only knowledge that is going to set you free is a personal relationship of becoming a seeker. Finding truth. If you turn yourself over to truth and love, then you, you can't go wrong. 
my goats are making noise. I think all my animals are aware that I'm out here at an odd time of day and and right now this is their relaxing time, but they're looking for a second meal. And that's that brings me to my next conclusion and something I want to share to you guys. Get some animals, get some livestock, start raising some things. When when God put us on this planet, he he told us to go raise animals and take care of our families as men and he told women to raise the families and do this now I'm not being all sexist and this and that you want to do what you want to do fine but I'm just letting you know about a role thing that I discovered in life when we put ourselves in these natural roles when we work when we see these animals when we experience what they're going through we watch their nature we watch human nature we learn what happens when we don't take care of them right we learn what happens when we take care of them correctly we learn what happens when we love them we learn what happens when we neglect them these life lessons teach us many things about human nature and about ourselves. And it is far better for us to make mistakes on the creatures that are feeding us than it is on our own family members. My friends, for many, many years we have gone away from this lifestyle and we've made things easy on ourselves, trying to make it all just simple. Everything that we have tried to simplify, we have ruined our lives. And we need to get back to some hard work. Look, I have a lot of physical limitations. I struggle. There are some days I can barely get up out of bed, but I force myself to do what I can possibly do on that given day. And that's what we all must do. You must never surrender. You can never accept defeat because your family relies on you. Your country relies on you. Your neighbors are relying on you and God's relying on you to be the best version of you that you can be. Now I've been on a strange journey since I've decided to follow the promptings that God has told me to do and every step of the way it's been a, a phenomenal experience. I have had the, the, the pleasure of talking to over I don't even know but it's I know it's over 12 presidential candidates this year um, who are running for president and I think I consider that an honor I'm just a pig farmer. Um, <laughs> Case in point, pigs. And, but yeah, here I am. And all I did is do the things that God asked me to do. Now I live here. This is my world, my home, my life, everything about me. I didn't just wake up one day and step here. God put me here. All I did is follow what he asked me to do. My friends, that's that's all you need to do right now. Listen to God. Do what he's telling you to do right now. This may be your last chance. And when you're ready to take that step... We're here for you. God bless you. God bless all those who stand for liberty and freedom. Please, my friends, take your fate in your own hands. Develop a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Turn it over to him. Do what he wants you to do. Time is short. A couple weeks, I won't have any more big pigs. I'll all be in my freezer. What are you going to do? God bless y'all. Take care.